Hello, lovely viewers. Welcome back to the Glow Pilates Studio channel. I'm Julia, and thanks for joining me for this 10-minute yoga block stretching sequence. All you need for this class is just one yoga block or a similar prop and a stable surface to hold on to for balance. Let's begin by placing your yoga block down on the floor. Hold on to your stable surface. Step about two thirds of your right foot onto your prop and stabilize the front end of your yoga block with your left foot. Take a few breaths to fully straighten and lock out your right knee, allowing your right heel to hang down as low as possible. And gradually start to shift your hips a little bit more forward over your metatarsals as you continue to breathe into your deep calf stretch. Take your final breath in your calf stretch before we continue on to your Achilles tendon stretch. When you feel ready, soften the right knee, pronate or roll in your right arch towards your big toe and add a slight twist to your left. You should feel the stretch migrate lower down towards the inner portion of your right ankle. If you don't, please feel free to play around or adjust as you need to. Take one more breath in your Achilles stretch and unwind to recover. Step your left foot onto the floor a few inches behind your right, both feet in parallel. Wave your upper body down into your forward hang and set your fingertips onto the floor. Straighten both knees as much as is possible and begin to raise your eyes a little bit beyond your yoga block. Let's breathe into your deep hamstring stretch, encouraging a little bit more weight forward into your front foot. Your option is to either stay here and breathe, or if it's possible for you to set your flat palms down on the floor while keeping your weight forward. Decide what works best for you. And let's take a couple more deep breaths. Add in a slight rocking back and forth. Purposely raise your back heel as you shift your weight forward into your straight front leg and then lower the back heel down to the floor. Continue for a couple more sets, deepening your calf and hamstring stretch in the front leg. Set your left heel down onto the floor. Try to walk your fingertips a little bit more forward for your final couple of breaths. And when you feel ready to release, step your right foot off the yoga block. Take a moment in your forward hang and round up slowly to standing. When you're ready, let's repeat all of those stretches on the other side. Let's begin with your deep calf stretch on your left leg. Step your left foot onto the yoga block, hold on to your stable surface for balance, and hold the front end of your yoga block down with your right foot. We're using a very straight left knee here, allowing the heel to hang down and trying to shift your hips a little bit more forward. Take your final deep breath in your calf stretch before we continue on to your Achilles stretch. When you're ready, soften that left knee, roll in or pronate your left arch and twist a little bit towards your right. If you did something a little bit different on the other side, maybe that's what you need on this side as well. 
Take your final deep breath in your Achilles stretch. And when you're ready, unwind to recover. Step your right foot back onto the floor a few inches behind your left, two parallel feet. And when you're ready, wave your upper body down into your forward hang, fingertips on the floor. Let's raise your eyes a little bit beyond your front toes and yoga block to deepen your hamstring stretch. And as you breathe, try to keep your two knees straight and low back as flat as possible. If you would like to, your option is to place your palms flat down onto the floor or stay up on your fingertips. Choose the version that works best for you. Let's add in our shifting forward and back. Lift the back heel off the floor as you shift forward and then lower the heel back down, hopefully keeping your front knee as straight as possible. Lower the back heel and take a final couple of deep breaths to deepen your hamstring stretch. If you can, walk your hands a little bit more forward. When you're ready to recover, step your left foot off the yoga block. When you're ready to recover, step your left foot off the yoga block. Take a moment in your forward hang Feel how much longer your hamstrings have gotten and round up slowly to standing. Beautiful job. Let's transition to our final stretch for today. Find a place where you have a vertical surface such as a wall, the front edge of a bed or sofa. I'm going to be using the front edge of a Pilates Cadillac table today. Place your yoga block down in front of that surface. Place your left knee onto your prop and step your right foot forward to about a 90 degree bend in that front knee. Keep your fingertips on the floor as you bring your hips away from your back heel. And if you can, step one or both hands onto your front knee. We've come into our deep quad stretch here. Keep encouraging your hips to press forward. Bend your front knee deeper and scoop the belly up while tucking your tail under. Option to stay here as you are, or you can take your hands into prayer. Twist towards your front leg and use your opposite elbow on your front knee for leverage to add a twist. Decide which position works best for you, as long as you're not sitting back onto your back heel. When you feel ready to recover, I suggest place your hands back down on the floor, tuck your front leg, and then take your back knee off of your yoga block. Take a moment if you need to readjust, and let's come into the other side. We'll set our right kneecap onto the yoga block this time. Step your left foot forward. Try to find that 90 degree bend in your front knee. Begin with your fingertips on the floor and drop your hips down and forward. If you'd like to continue, place one or two hands on your front knee or stay with your fingertips on the floor. Either way, we're going to press your hips forward, bend your front knee more, scoop the belly, and tuck the tailbone under. Option to stay here or continue to your prayer position with your hands, where you can twist towards your front knee, use leverage from opposite elbow to knee, and add a twist up towards the ceiling. Decide what pose works best for you on this side. As long as you remember not to sit your hips back onto your back heel, but keep pressing them forward. 
When you're ready to recover, set those hands down, tuck your front leg, and take your back knee off of your yoga block. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already for more future content. Leave me a comment or any thoughts below and I'll see you in the next one.